Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, this time with the Mirage F1C. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 500 views on my last video. That's more than I ever expected to get on it. And with all these new subscribers, it just makes me really happy and motivates me to make more content. Also, I want to announce that I'm releasing a new Discord server. I know I'm still kind of a small channel, but I just want to interact with the community and see what you guys have to say, and I look forward to meeting you all. So how is the Mirage F1C? Well, the plane itself isn't very good. The only thing it really has going for it is that it has decent low speed thrust, and by that I mean below 100 miles per hour you'll outthrust the Tomcat, but other than that, it's not very good. But it does carry good missiles. The Matra Magic 2 is probably the best missile in the game right now, and it also gets the R530E, which I like to use to orbital strike people from like 5 kilometers away. Other than that though, it isn't very good. But in anticipation of the Mirage 2000, I wanted to make a video on this to show everybody how to play it. In the video, you'll see me taking a variety of loadouts. You'll always want to take the two Magic 2s, but other than that, it's really personal preference between the 530E and the Super 530. A lot of times I won't take the Belly Missile because it adds a lot of drag, but on an EC map, you have more time to build your speed, so you'll see me taking it out then. Every single time I fly this out, however, I'm going to climb. This thing does better at altitude, both because it has a low rip speed, and because you have really chonky missiles that have a long burn time, letting you orbital strike people from like 6 kilometers away. In front of me, you can see a Tomcat shooting off all of its Phoenix missiles. One of them is aimed at me and I don't have enough time to notch, so I just roll it because it doesn't pull very hard. I almost black out, so I pull out my air brake and cut my throttle so that I don't hit the ground. And as I recover from my blackout, I look behind me and the Tomcat is nowhere to be seen, but I'm sure my teammates can deal with it. Taking note of the battlefield around me, there really isn't anybody to engage. There's this F-14 right here, and I was going to spool up a missile and fire at him, but this F-4E killed him with an AIM-9J, and even if the F-14 drops its throttle to like 50% and is flaring, it can still hit a lot of the time because it's chronically hot. I turn toward their side of the map to look for people to fight, but when I look behind me, there's this MiG-23. In the long run, I outproduce him in terms of slow speed thrust, but he probably wins the fight if he sticks it. He's turning into me, so I want to dodge any guns or missile he shoots. I pre-flare here so that he can't get a lock on me, but when I look back he's not chasing. Back towards the other side of the battlefield, there's this cluster, and this is where the fun begins. I want to lock him with a Super 530, but as you'll see, the missile isn't very good. I feel like if I had an AIM-7E2 or an AIM-7F, that would have easily hit, but of course, the French don't get anything good right now. This F4J I want to hit in a head-on with a Magic 2, and it looks like it's going to hit, but he flares once, and that's where this thing struggles, in the head-on. I hit him with my guns, but of course the damage is bugged and it only gives me a crit. I miss the MLA and he misses me, and when I look behind me, this Tomcat is launching on me. I dodge the missile, and he goes for guns, and I just barely dodge it by going vertical. This F4J is slow, which makes him a juicy target. I launch my 530E, but the Vigan ends up getting the kill, but this MLD pulls in front of me and I'm able to get an easy magic kill. He even starts flaring, but from rear aspect, the magic 2 does not care about your flares. Now that I'm out of missiles, I decided it's time to head back to base. This thing has good enough low speed thrust that I don't really have to worry about getting too slow because I can just crank the engine up. I'm pitching down here so that I can get closer to the runway without turning on my engine, but I'm still not fast enough. I turn the burner on for a second, and now I'm all lined up. This landing is going to be smooth as butter. I touch down here, and it's another perfect landing. I got an EC map here, so I'm taking the two Super 530s and the Belly Missile. I'm launching this missile at Mach 1.26, which makes it very fast and very deadly. If this guy doesn't have chaff, it's basically going to be a guaranteed kill which it looks like he doesn't when he pops countermeasures and only flares come out, which doesn't work against radar missiles. I'll be honest with you guys though, that kill was kind of a fluke. The Super 530 isn't very good, if they pop even one chaff, it isn't going to hit them most of the time. Also, 
the radar on this thing isn't very good. A lot of the times, it won't tell you if something's an AI target until you're, like, within visual range of them. And it won't give you a solid enough lock to launch a radar missile from even medium ranges. Just keep in mind, as a content creator, I'm a lot more inclined to use clips where something does good rather than bad. It's a lot more entertaining to watch me get a few kills, rather than watching me whiff everything and die in the first five minutes. Behind me is a MiG-23 and an F5, both of which could be scary to dogfight against. I pop countermeasures to dodge this missile, and this F5 is initially catching me, but that's because he's counting me off. I'm above Mach 1, which means I'm basically always going to outrun him in the long term. He shoots his first missile off at me, which I defeat in one flare, and then he shoots his second missile off on me, which I defeat in one flare again. After two bad decisions in a row, this F5V in an immense display of skill also misses every gunshot on me, and I'm gaining more distance away from him. Normally, when they disengage that close, I'd also turn around, but this thing is such a brick that I decide that I want to give myself a little bit more space. I also want to try and get another kill with the Super 530, even though it's kind of bad, because I need to get the weight off my plane if I end up in a dogfight. I turn around at 9 kilometers, and this F5 also decides to turn around again, which is going to give me a perfect opportunity to fire this thing off. I turn on my radar, and it actually ends up getting a lot quite easily. I fire off the missile, and generously, I help him out with a cool new weight reduction program. Coming in from above, it's really able to showcase how strong these Magic 2 missiles can be. I get a lock from 5 kilometers and fire at 4.2, and on this J8B, I fire on 3.5. When you have altitude and a frontal aspect lock, they really just can't miss if they don't flare. I would have had this F14 with the 530E as well, but I got the lock bug, which prevented me from firing it for like about half a second, and I ended up missing because of it. Off in the distance, there's two F-14s fighting, one on the enemy team and one on my team. Preferably, the one on my team would be heading towards me so I can help him out, or at least folding his wings out so he can dogfight better, but for some reason, randoms just don't have manual wing sweep bound. I want to try and get a kill with my last missile, which is the Super 530, and I end up getting a radar lock at 7 kilometers, and even launch first. But as you're gonna see, I end up dying because I can't outroll his missile, and his missile just tracks way better than mine. My missile ends up missing, which can be a problem because it means you can't take many head-ons with Tomcats. On to the full game, and the final game at that. I'm climbing right now, and on my plane are the two Magic 2s, a 530E, and a Super 530. I think this is just the best general purpose loadout you can take. I see a missile trail below me, which leads me to this F4EJ, and my radar is in MTI mode which helps me get a lock on him on the deck, but it ends up switching targets to my teammate, and I'm obviously not going to team kill my teammate. I also try and lock this F14, but my missile will not give me tone, so I switch to a Magic 2, and this is going to be the easiest kill of my life considering he doesn't flare or cut burner at all. This F-14 in front of me fires off six Phoenix missiles, which tells me he has nothing left to kill me in the head-on, but then this F-4E pulls in front of me, and I switch to my Magic 2 to get an easy kill. He goes vertical to hopefully dodge it, and starts popping flares, but the Magic 2 doesn't care about your flares. But a MiG-23 MLA actually ended up missiling him right as my missile also hit him, and ended up getting the kill before I could. I go for a radar lock on this F-14, but then I switch targets and go for a gunshot here. He gets set on fire, and he's going to burn up because the F-14 is basically made of fuel tanks. I go for a 530E here, but it doesn't hit because he's turning in too hard, and I go for a 530F here, but he's throwing in too fast, so it doesn't hit. So I'm left to chase this F-4J. Now, in a perfect world, I have a radar lock on this guy, and it would let me shoot my Super 530 off at him in the rear aspect. But, because I'm rear aspect, it won't give me launch authorization, so I just have to keep playing patient and chasing him. He drops bombs on a base, which tells me two things. One, he's going to be super slow. And two, he's not interested in a dogfight. He turns in here to try and get away from me, and I actually do end up missing my shot, because low mounted guns does things to a man. I also almost get team killed by this MiG-23 MLA, 
and I go vertical to use my strengths against this F4J. It doesn't really matter though, because the F4J is a really big brick and has worse performance than I do in a dogfight. You can see I'm catching him here, and my entire team is also collapsing on him. The Mirage fires a missile on him and ends up getting the kill. That's going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing me recently. It really means a lot to me, and it gives me a lot of motivation to make more videos. That being said, I don't really know what to fly out next. I got suggested the P40F, and it would be good to make a prop video probably, so I might do that next. But if you guys have something better, I might do that instead. Also, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. It does a lot to get my channel out there, and it really helps my growth. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye